Okay, time for the big reveal is here. I haven't seen it. You haven't seen it. Is this mirror paint stuff really going to work? And does it work on plexiglass? I've seen videos of where it worked, but I don't know. Let's see. Okay, as you can see, somebody's got seven years bad luck coming. It's the tenant, not me. I didn't break it. But to prevent this from happening again, because it seems to happen, I'm going to try to repair this mirror with some of this and some plexiglass. My way of thinking is the plexiglass, they won't be breaking the mirror. Well, I'll save them seven years bad luck. So anyway, let me get all this cleaned up and uh, see if that's going to work. Okay, first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to pull out these old screws. Some of them's done come out. This thing's been riding it. You want to be very careful with mirror glass. It's it's just like broken glass. It's sharp and it'll cut you to the bone where you know it. These old screws. They don't have clips in the back. They have these old screws. There we go. I'm going to take these screws out and get that old glass out of there. Okay, some of these screws have been pulled out. I'll probably have to epoxy those. But the paint I'm using is Rust-Oleum Mirror Effect. And I had to look all over the place for that. I didn't want to order it because, you know, if you order it, it's obviously going to be a heck of a lot more. Finally found it at Home Depot. So, it was like uh, nine bucks a can. I had my local hardware cut me some uh, plexiglass or Lexan or whatever they're calling it these days. I don't know if that's going to work or not. Just get these screws out. Yeah. It's going to be tough. So anyway, I'm hoping this works. If not, I might have to just get a piece of mirror. But, it's worth a try. The plexiglass is 3 feet tall by 15 inches wide. And that cost me 23 bucks. So I've got about $35 in this. Um, and you know where you would go, I guess a glass company, look for a mirror to replace this. Okay, there we go. You can see some of that old paint still holding on pretty strong. Here's our glass. We're going to get out of there. Pop that in the feet sack I got and uh, and then throw it in the trash to let the garbage man deal. So anyway there's our frame. Old hinge is about to come out. And my, oh, I done lost one over there. Oh, there, there. Yeah, I'm gonna have to find that. No, is that in there? No. So anyway I have to find that one. see if the plastic glass is going to fit okay back with my trusty Milwaukee Sharpie sorry about the wind noise again but seems like lately every time I went to do a go to do a video I got wind noise it's windy so it's, oh well that's the joys of working outside okay I made that just a little bit inside there I'd be exact because I've got probably an inch or more to play with right there, so I don't have to be exact. That's just fine with me. Okay, got it all marked out. See there? Need to go get my jigsaw and go to cutting. I'll be right back. Okay, the instructions for this rust -Oleum mirror effect paint says, shake for a minute. We're supposed to spray in layers up to five layers, allowing one minute uh, dry time between each coat. So, hopefully this little can, this is a little can, it's not like you're, it's not the same size as a regular 
paint can that you think that it's only six ounces so hopefully this will get get us there and i've been checking for a while before i turn the radio up the radio on listen to me before i turn the camera on turn the radio on okay let's try this i gotta be honest with you it doesn't look like much right there Just hold it 10 to 12 inches away. Again, it's pretty, pretty windy out here today. I'm not sure that's going to stick to the plexiglass. But we're going to let it, we're going to let it, um, what I did get on there set for a minute. And I'll be back for a next coat. Two. Okay, number three. Okay, coat four. I don't know about the front, but this back is pretty shiny and pretty reflective. Just trying to get all the areas that I can actually see through right now, which is, like I said, it's pretty slick on this. Plexiglass, plexan, whatever you want to call it. Okay. Coat number five. Sorry, it looks like I got the camera off just a little bit. Coat number five, and it's a good thing because I don't know how much of this we got left. I'm going to save just a little bit instead of use it all. Just because I have some area that may need hit. So I'm going to let this set for a minute. Like the instructions say, come back and you'll see the reveal as I see it. Let's see if this worked. Let's see if we can repair a mirror. Okay. Time for the big reveal. This is dry. Let's hope this works. Otherwise, I just talked my client into a $35 experiment. <laughs> that didn't work okay let's see get out of here okay it's not like a real real mirror but i don't know if y'all see whoa it will reflect light that's pretty damn cool even my book y'all see that wow mirror mirror on the wall who's the best handyman of them all you are Donald, you are ha ha ha. Hey, no laughing. I can't break you, but I can cut you in half of the jigsaw. I want so now we're gonna cut the frame, I mean the plexiglass to the frame. Now, uh, most frames will have a indention right here, a little rabbit where the glass, or in this case, the plexiglass will set. So since I got this a little oversized, go ahead and mark everything goes. And take the jigsaw. Ah, moved on me. Moved on me. Okay. 
Okay, now let me get my straight edge, mark all these spots, and get the jigsaw. We'll cut this out and get it in there. All right, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. This is how you repair or fix a mirror, broken mirror, with mirror paint. Um, if I had to do it again, I would probably try to get a small piece of plexiglass and uh, I would take acetone or some degreaser or maybe uh, denatured alcohol and wipe it off. Uh, maybe the, you know, pulling the film off left a film on the glass. It's not as clear, obviously, as the um, real mirror. Not yet. I hadn't cleaned it up. But I would try that and I might try getting some 400 or 600 grit just lightly sanding. So it, it seemed like first coat that the um, mirror effect didn't really want to adhere that good. It took like a good three coats, I think, before I started seeing the, you know, silver backing. So, but hey, still pretty damn neat, right? Um, certainly something I would experiment with further before I bought a mirror, especially in a rental house where they keep breaking their mirrors. Um, they don't need no more bad luck than what they have. So I appreciate y'all watching. Like and subscribe down below. Check out the mirror paint on Amazon. Link below. We'll catch you later. Donald, Blue Collar DIY.